Before I get started, I just want to say a brief word about uh, the Jordanian attack uh, that we uh, discovered uh, earlier, the fact that uh, someone dressed in uh, military uh, uniform carried out an attack uh, at a training facility in which it appears that there may have been uh, two or three U.S. citizens killed uh, and a number of other individuals injured. Uh, obviously, a full inv uh, investigation is taking place. Uh, we take this very seriously and we'll uh, be working closely with the Jordanians uh, to determine exactly what happened. As I've said repeatedly, uh, the security of Israel uh, is one of my top foreign policy priorities. And that has expressed itself not only in words but in deeds. Uh, we have closer military and intelligence cooperation than any two uh, administrations in history. It's no secret that uh, the Prime Minister and I have had uh, a strong disagreement on this narrow issue, uh, but we don't have a disagreement uh, on the need uh, to making sure that Iran does not get a nuclear weapon, and we don't have a disagreement about the importance of us blunting destabilizing activities that Iran may be taking place. And so we're going to be looking to make sure that we find common ground there. Uh, and we will also uh, have an opportunity to discuss uh, some of the concerns uh, that both of us have around uh, violence uh, in the Palestinian territories. Uh, I want to be very clear that uh, we condemn in the strongest terms Palestinian violence uh, against innocent Israeli citizens. Uh, and I want to repeat once again, it is my strong belief that Israel has not just the right, but the obligation to protect itself. Mr. President, first let me express uh, the condolences of the people of Israel for the uh, loss of American lives. We're with you. Uh, we're with each other in more ways than one, and I want to um, thank you for this opportunity to uh, strengthen our, our friendship, which is strong, strengthen our alliance, which is strong, uh, I think it's rooted in shared values. It's buttressed by shared interests. Uh, it's driven forward by a sense of a shared destiny. I want to make it clear that we have not given up our hope for peace. We'll never give up our hope for peace. And I remain committed to a vision of peace of two states for two peoples, a demilitarized Palestinian state that recognizes the Jewish state. Uh, I don't think that anyone should doubt Israel's determination to defend itself against terror and destruction, but neither should anyone doubt Israel's willingness to make peace with any of its neighbors that genuinely want to achieve peace with it.